Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to another After Effects Quick Tips. I'm gonna try and do two of these a week. Uh, try and do probably Wednesday and Sunday and uh, get these videos going again and you know give you guys some tips and tricks of the trade here. So I've been asked uh, recently on how to do the face blurring technique or uh, make it easier, I guess, because there are several ways to do this. Um, I'm going to run through a couple right now. Uh, you can, of course, do it manually. Uh, you can do it with tracking. I'm going to show you how to do both the blur and the black bar over the eyes. All right, so let's get going here. So I have this shot out here on uh, Venice Beach. Um, just some passerbys. Maybe you know you're shooting a prank video or whatnot and you didn't get releases signed and you need to blur their faces so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now all right first things first let's make a new adjustment layer here and then we're gonna just throw a blur and then fast blur and then um, go ahead and just repeat the edge pixels we're not really gonna use them but we'll turn this up to like 77 it'll blur it out then we're gonna grab a mask and just draw a circle around her face here where it was that we want to blur. All right, what I typically do is I'll hit F and I'll feather the edges out a little bit just so it's not so sharp on the edges here. Um, it just makes it a little softer, you don't have to do that. If we wanted to, we could just hit P for position, mark a keyframe, and just go a couple seconds and, and you just kind of follow her and you know, go along through our whole clip like this and do this manually. And then traditionally what you can do is go back in between keyframes. If it got lost, you could then adjust the motion. Maybe your clip is longer and you don't want to take, you know, the time to do all that and it's kind of a pain. So what we're gonna do now, let's just turn this off for a second. We're going to go to our motion tracking. Let's see here, something easy to track that's in the frame the entire time. Maybe this uh, Doseki's tattoo right here on her chest will be easy to grab. Let's zoom in here. There we go. And we're just gonna track forward. Good, it looks like it's holding pretty well. Once this is done, we can turn our blur back on and uh, let's edit the target and adjustment layer, that's our blur. So yes, we wanna make sure it's applied to that. Hit apply, we want X and Y, yes, hit okay. Then it'll take us back here and you'll notice there are blurs over here, but fear not, we'll just hit A, bring up the anchor point and we can shift it over and down. And now, you will see that our tracking data should be applied all the way through our clip, and it indeed is. There's one option there. It looks like we did kinda miss a little bit here, but you can just adjust the anchor point, and uh, great. Or you can also just adjust your mask here and make it a little bit wider. Either or. And then I'll show you how to do the black bars here on the other girl. Basically the same principle. We're gonna wanna track something on her that's in the frame the whole time and isn't moving very much. Uh, we could probably grab her mouth. Grab a new tracker. Uh, we're gonna track motion. Make this bigger here. Let's put it right on her mouth. Let's see if this works, hopefully. And the key with this tracker the after effects tracker will get the job done it's not the best thing in the world if i have to track anything that's kind of intensive i will bring it into mocha but this can alleviate uh you having to leave after effects and also if you're not familiar with mocha this will do the trick for this technique that we're trying to do today so let's go ahead and analyze forward uh, if her eyes were in the shot the whole time we would track her eyes obviously but they are not. So this is a way to kind of get around that, keeping the same motion. All right, great, we got it there. So now let's come back here where we can see where her eyes are. Let's do a new layer, solid. We'll make it black, whatever. You can make it any color you want, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna use black just to keep it simple. And then we're gonna jump back over here and let's just turn this off so I can see through it for a second. So I can draw our rectangle tool over her eyes. Great. And let's pop it back on. 
cool there it is and then let's go back to our track tracker 2 that's right edit target and this time it's going to go to the black solid and we probably should have labeled these I could have labeled uh, this blur and this bar or whatever black bar doesn't matter um, okay so we're going to apply that x and y yes if you do this it'll only apply it to that axis it's pretty self-explanatory but x and y is what you want for this hit ok and now you can see we lost him he's up here but again fear not let's bring up the anchor point and bring it over and there it is now we should have a solid track this is very helpful if you have longer clips so you don't have to go through and painstakingly and meticulously keyframe blurs and bars or mosaics or whatever you're choosing to use to blur people's faces out. This is a simple way to do it, um, a quicker way to do it. You can also do it in Mocha if after effects is having a hard time holding the track this is my quick tip for the week look forward to another one coming sunday thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time